When setting the cast and helix on a draw bench, it's the position of the die box which determines when our cast and helix will come off that block. This is a standard die box for a normal vertical bench draw machine. To make my cast smaller, I need to bring this die box out towards me. So I would loosen this bolt, I would tighten the one on the back, which as you can see is driving the box outward. By bringing the box outward, I'm making the cast smaller. If I need to make the cast bigger, I would loosen the bolt on the back, I would the, tighten the bolt on the front, as you can see, it's moving the die box in towards the block, making the cast larger. For the helix, if my wire was shooting up on the block, after I cut it right here and I notice that it's shooting up, I want to move the mouth of the die box up. So if my wire is shooting up, you move the exit end of the die box in the direction that the wire is curling. So if my wire is curling up, I move the front of the die box slightly up. If the wire was curling down, I would move the front of the die box down. You want that wire, when you cut it right here, to be laying perfectly even with the radius of the block. So again, to affect the cast, to make it smaller, I bring the die box out. To make it bigger, I bring the die box in. If the wire is curling up, I move the exit side of the die box up. If the wire is curling down, I move the front of the die box down. Once I've set my die box where it should be, you want to lock all the bolts in place so the die box doesn't move. And here's the locking device to adjust my up or down. I can loosen that bolt to drive it up or lower it to bring it down. But once I've set it, I want to take the locking bolt and lock it in place so it won't move. That's setting the cast and the helix on a standard draw block. So we're going to talk about cast and helix. Sometimes there's a little confusion on the terminology that people use for cast and helix, so we just want to clarify that. When we talk about cast, we're talking about one ring of wire off the block or carrier that the wire was placed on. And when we talk about size of a cast, we're talking about the diameter from one end to the other that that one ring of wire takes up. The cast on this sample right here is a 35 inch cast, came off a 36 inch block. Normally we say we like the cast diameter to be plus or minus two inches from the block that it was run on. So if it's run on a 36 inch block, it could be 34 to 38 inches in diameter. So that is the cast. The other term we use is helix. In helix, we're talking about how springy is the wire from where the two ends meet. And there's two types of helix. We refer to a laying helix where the sample is actually laying on a flat surface. And in this case, you'll see the two ends are almost dead flat to each other. So we refer to that helix as being a dead helix on a flat surface. Many people require that the helix be tested while the cast is being hung from your finger or a bolt, and then measure the distance between the two ends of the wire. In this case, when this cast is hanging, we have a two inch helix between the two ends. In the industry, for 250 diameter wire, which this is, a two inch hanging helix is acceptable in the standard in the industry. It's basically two inches or less 
for a hanging helix. Now let's review some key points from the video.